everybody welcome to fish keep in jamaica you know one of the advantages of using a uh, aquarium to store your fish is the fact that you can actually see what is going on in your pond in your tank right um i have done a, a video on tanks versus pond right where in it i have shared with you some advantages and disadvantages of both however with the pond sometimes I love ponds by the way with your ponds sometimes it is it's not easy for you to really realize certain things however it it should be the pond should be of such that it gives the fish advantage in behaving naturally in an environment that it might um, um, portray a behavior that will exist in the wild so this morning I'm feeding my fish and I noticed a guppy with an extended tail. Now, um, for those persons who have been watching my channel, this is, uh, you have known that, you will know that this pond is a mixture pond with several guppies, sword tail, and majority of filament barbs. I realized that I have some guppy sort here now um i don't know if you can see them i'm trying to find because by the time i went for the camera and this is a big 280 total right by the time i went for the camera it seems as if that one have actually disappeared i have read about it um however and i have actually watched different clippings on guppy sort tail um points to note when a virgin guppy goes in a virgin sword tail, they will eventually mate up. If it's a male and a female, they will produce. Right? Thus, it seems as if one of my guppy went, went with one of my sword tail. And some persons might disagree with me and say that it is not really a sword tail. But it is that extended tail suggests that it is an extended um piece of tail which is similar to the sword tail male extended tail now um a point to note this might be difficult for me to see on the camera right now but i know that i have about three of them i'm looking i do not know if I'll see it during the course of this filming, but I'll try to capture it um, either today or tomorrow, right? So, oh, I thought I saw one. Oh. Um, so these are my fish, and these are just some of my copies. Hmm. Um, but the extended tail led me to really go for the camera right so as to get a picture of this mm -hmm. and they are so wild in this pond that are uh, beginning to look really an impossible task for me to actually get some real clippings on this fish. Ah, here it is, 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 here it is. I don't know if it's coming up back. Here it is. Oh, it went away. Ah, here it is again. So this is my guppy sword tail. I did not do it on purpose it just happened All right and one thing when I know with guppies is that you might have a, a purple tail or a, a red tail or different different yellow tail whatever guppy you have and when they do procreate here it is here it is again is it it's a guppy so tail the tail is not fully grown All right 
There it is. It's going. Right? So you might have you might import some guppies from Japan or wherever. Right? And they have a red tail and they say that their gene type is that. However, when you really look at it over the, the next couple of months or years, you realize that the spawn or should I say the fries of these fish they actually change in color. Oh they are going crazy for food. They are going crazy for food. Filament bars move so fast that they just zips up from the bottom. <coughs> zips up from the bottom of the pan to grab a piece of flake to head back down into the pond. And the thing about this pond is that I do not put any, I did not put any um, pump in it. So everything is filtered naturally through the plants. Right? Um, about 40 to 50 hyphen lyle tail so tail is in this pond three hundred filament barb I give and take about fifty yes and see the so tail there right right it's coming around again see there it is go up so tail there it is, right in front. There it is. Copy sort tail. There it is again. I realize that I have more than one. So the tail is actually coming out. It's a very young fish. So therefore, give or take um, a few months time. It will look like this. And that's not normal. There it is again. The tail. If you doubt me whether or not this is normal, you can look at another guppy in which I have. And there it is with the extended tail. Mm -hmm. another, uh, let's look at another guppy in which I have a male. That's a male, right? Let's look at another male. Here's another male. Notice the tail. Tail is all squared up. Pretty red. Looks looking good. Right. And that's how guppies usually look. Not with the extended tail. And by the way, guppies do not live long. If cheated properly, they might live about seven years. Right? And if you do have guppies in your pond or tank, and you want to really see the coloration, put all the males together, the different different males together in one big tank. And that guppy have something on it, the, the side looking like an eye. It's so beautiful. What look? Tell you, I have some wonderful, beautiful guppies. I'm gonna get a, a 50 gallon, a 100 gallon tank. I'm gonna put a hundred of these fellas in it and put it at the front of my yard. It is looking so beautiful. This is a purple tail. 